Hey everybody, welcome back to Mining Modern. I'm Corbin Hostler and this is Tribal Tezzerets, also known as Tezzerator, also known as Blue Black Tezzeret, whatever you want to call it. The point is this deck is sweet. Uh, so I've lost, if you're a long time watcher of the series, I've lost a, quite a few matches to Tezzeret decks before uh, and never played it myself. But with Tezzeret the Schemer making waves in standard, I thought mm, this might be a good time to give a shot. And if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. So you have to take advantage of the new Planeswalker rule, which allows you in modern to have as many of a um, one uh, uh, one character Planeswalker in play so long as they don't have the exact same name. Before, you could only have one Liliana or one Tezzeret in play at a time. So you couldn't have Tezzeret, Agent of Bolas, and Tezzeret the Seeker in play together. However, with Ixalan coming out, you now can. So it opens up all these fun tribal decks, and you can do Tribal Gideon, Tribal Liliana, and I think Tribal Liliana is actually very good. Um, but this deck is good as well, because this has some, some proven track record going for it. So Tribal Tezzerets. Uh, so here's the deck. We have seven Tezzerets in our deck, two Tezzeret the Schemer, um, nice Aether Revolt card here, two Tezzeret, or three Tezzeret Agent of Bolas, uh, which is great because it's card advantage. It can, it can pull artifacts off the top of your deck um, or make your artifacts creatures when you need it. Um, Tezzeret the Seeker, uh, really, really good because you can play it for five mana and just immediately minus it to get whatever you need out of your deck, whether that's you want to kill it and get trading post, but usually probably minus three, get ensnaring bridge, um, so on. You can do a lot of stuff with it. Uh, and of course, Tezzeret the Schemer is removal, plus it can make more mana for things like War of Invention. And really the entire deck keys off of War of Invention. It's the best improvised card printed. Uh, Improvise. So what that means is you can tap artifacts to help cast a spell, uh, and each one you tap reduces its mana cost by one. So it's an X and then triple blue spell. So if you pay three blue mana and then tap, say, four artifacts, you can get any artifact with converted mana cost four or less out of your deck, and that's exactly what our deck is. So given that, you then fill the deck with a lot of really value artifacts, and essentially we're a Thopter Foundry, Sword of the Meek deck. Um, if you don't know how this combo works, with a Thopter Foundry in play, you can sacrifice Sword of the Meek. The Sword of the Meek will go to the graveyard, and the 1-1 one, one you put into play off a of Thopter Foundry, uh, and you gain a life, will cause the Sword of the Meek trigger to, to trigger, and it will return from the graveyard to play attach that creature. And for every mana you have, you can activate Thopter Foundry and repeat this, and you end up with a bunch of 1-1 one, one flyers and X life, where X is the number of times you paid that one mana, and you can just block games out with this. Uh, especially since our plan is to keep opponents from attacking us, thanks to Ensnaring Bridge. If opponents can attack because of Ensnaring Bridge, we can make a bunch of 1-1s, then on our turn draw a card and attack with all of our 1-1s to kill them. That's the plan here. Um, now after that, we have a lot of other artifacts, as you, you might expect. Now Engineered Explosives, just a very good one. Uh, it's a way to kill Sony Silence, which you obviously have to be concerned about post sideboard uh crucible of worlds really good you can ghost quarter people out of the game you can loop your inventors fair um so on it's just very very strong um collective brutality not an artifact and fatal push and inquisition those are the not artifact spells in the deck um but they're what you need they're interaction you know a couple of fatal push to kill early creatures collective brutality for that and tearing apart their hand uh and inquisition of course just generally one of the most powerful cards you can have uh, so very, very powerful deck here. Now, uh, back to artifacts. We have uh, Pentad Prisms. This is very important. It allows you to go to four mana on turn three, and that's when you can play Tezzerets. And if there's a Mox Opal involved, say you go turn one, uh, Spell Bomb, Needle, Capsule, one of those, and then a Pentad Prism. Then on turn three, you can play an Opal, get two mana from the Prism. Um, you can have all the mana you want, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. Enable some turn three Tezzerets very easily. Um, it's great for that. Pentad Prism itself is, but also lost some big War of Inventions. Now, Executioner Capsule. Uh, this is repeatable removal. Only non-black creature removal, but this will go all the Tarmogoy if you want, uh, and you can bring it back with the Academy Ruins over here in our mana base, which can put an artifact card from our graveyard on top of our library for some mana. Uh, very, very powerful. You can also do some loops here with the Trading Post, which does a whole bunch of stuff. I'll read it to you when we play it. Uh, rounding it out, Nihil Spellbomb, one mana caught way to exile target player's graveyard. Good when, you know, that comes up, obviously. And then a couple of Mox Opals is free mana when you have Metalcraft around turns uh, 
two-ish or three or so. Um, so that's the deck. It's really exciting. A lot of blue-black lands on top of that. One breeding pool in the deck because over in the sideboard we have some Abrupt Decay to deal with Stony Silence, which is, which is of course, the bane of the deck. Now, you can beat it. You can just play a bunch of artifacts and then use your Tezzeret Ultimate to win. Um, but that's, you know, that, that is what it is. So also we have Surgicals for, you know, the Graveyard decks, Combo decks. Brutality for Burn and, and other decks where you just want the Duress effect. Thoughtseize, of course, for the Combo decks. Um, now, these are sort of the flex spots here. Herald of Anguish is sweet. This is a great one against Control. You slam it, they have to discard cards. It, it's just very good top end. And as improvised, of course, so you can play it out pretty fast. Uh, now, this is sort of the flex. And I'm actually going to make one change here real quick before we start. I have a couple Soak Rebuttals. Um, just in the matchups, I think, you know, where you just want a hard counter spell. It's a, it, You pay two mana and you have a counter. Uh, then Lost Legacy can for those combo matchups. Now, I think it's possible that with what we have, we are okay against combo. So I'm actually going to cut this, and I'm going to get a Witchbane Orb added, because Witchbane Orb, uh, very good against the Lilianas, and a Liliana the Veil can be one of the problems this deck faces uh, with it just ultimating before you can put enough pressure on it. And the Needle helps, of course, but Witchbane Orb is great. When there's a battlefield, four mana, destroy all curses attached to you. That probably won't matter, but the second part definitely matters. You have Hexproof. Liliana cannot target you. Very, very strong. So here we go. Blue Black Tezzeret, Tribal Tezzerets. This is Mining Modern. I'm Corbin Hostler. Thank you for watching, and let's see how it goes.